Tonight, live from the Inspiring Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen. Your co-host, Rose Donahue. Music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest from JoJo's Jerky, Hans Hibbert. From the other brothers, Daryl and Daryl. Music by Fishbowl. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who missed his SpaceX flight, Mr. Jeremy Martin. Give it up for DJ Lenny Love, Alfonso, the man, the myth, the legend of downtown. How you doing, DJ Lenny? You missed your SpaceX flight. I missed huh? my SpaceX good, good. flight. Uh, I was so mad, <laughs> and then I was so glad. There you go. That was uh, the greatest moment ever. The crowd will read about SpaceX tomorrow, I guess, um, <laughs> and uh, in the news. So uh, it's good to be here, man. We have a beautiful looking crowd. Now give yourselves a round of applause. Look at you guys. Like, seriously, some of you even dressed up for this. This is great. This is great. Well, my name is Jeremy Martin, and uh, this is what's going on in the world around us. Uh, Ryan Lochte uh, is set to join the cast for the newest season of Dancing with the Stars. When asked how he felt about this new challenge, Ryan said, I was excited they asked me. I mean, it's not like they had to put a gun to my head or anything. So I was happy to do it. Yeah. Tim Tebow is back in the news. Any Tebow fans in the crowd tonight? Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> Hopefully he never sees this. Uh, the former Heisman Trophy winner is pursuing a b professional baseball career. Yeah, I don't expect this to go well for him, though. Uh, he's not going to get the same help from God uh, that he got in football, right? I mean, even God hates baseball. It's, yeah, it's the worst. The worst. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, God is, is okay sharing a sport uh, that's good on Sunday. He's happy sharing football. But Tebow ain't getting blessed to play baseball. <laughs> Unless he gets picked up by the Angels, obviously. Uh, <laughs> for the, the pastor humor. Yes, a little pastor humor there. <laughs> In other sports news this weekend, quarterback Colin Kaepernick with the 49ers made headlines. It's strange, though. Uh, who would have thought a third-string quarterback sitting on the bench would have been so controversial? <laughs> yeah, at a press conference after the game, Kaepernick said that he couldn't stand during the national anthem because of the oppression of black men in this country. That's right. He then left the press conference, got in his $100,000 car, drove to his white adoptive parents' house to count his money. <laughs> maybe, not, maybe not all. Uh, in political news, John Kerry recently received some backlash because he suggested it might be best if the media didn't cover terrorism and people didn't know what's going on in the world of terrorism. When reached for comment, Hillary Clinton said, I know, right? She's <laughs> been saying that same thing. <laughs> I'm bipartisan here. So Donald Trump there met with the Mexican president uh, this week, Enrique Pien Peña Nieto. Uh, Trump said they were just hanging out listening to Pink Floyd's The Wall. <laughs> Discussing Chinese architecture, you know, like the Great Wall. <laughs> Brushing up on Jewish prayer rituals, you know, like the, the Wailing Wall. And, and the Mexican president paid for the whole thing. It was, it was awesome. And then they woke up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then he woke up. Thank you, DJ Lenny. <laughs> uh, Google, did anyone hear about this? Google is jumping into the ride share business, competing with Uber and Lyft. Uh, that's right. There's still some kinks to work out, though. Every time you tell the driver where you want to go, he tries to guess and interrupts you. <laughs> <laughs> Intersected where? What? <laughs> <laughs> Researchers in Pittsburgh may have found a cure for some untreatable depression, leaving Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh. 
I'm, I'm just kidding if anyone here is from Pittsburgh. I've never even been to the city, uh, but I've also never struggled with depression, so might be a correlation. I don't know. Uh, a recent headline reads, Rihanna's new shark tattoo has special significance to Drake. Yeah, turns out it's the reason he dumps her. <laughs> that's okay. that's horrible, horrible tattoo. There's nothing sexy about a shark, just dead eyes. All right, we have a great show for you guys tonight. Let's hear it one more time for DJ Lenny Love. Hear it one more time for yourselves. We got a great night. going to absolutely love our next guest. He sells beef jerky right here in downtown Las Vegas at the Container Park. Please put your hands together for Hans Hipper. Come on out. Pleasure. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. Right on. Thank you so much for coming on. Have a Thank seat. Thank you for having Have a me. Seat. Okay, so I want to talk about, um, you know, the, the story but before this was introduced into my world, it was in your world. Tell me how it became right. JoJo's Jerky. Uh, JoJo's Jerky was a uh, passion about food and, uh, and, and jerky, of course. Um, it was always a treat growing up that I could, uh, you know, I had to do a lot of chores, whether it be mowing the lawns or, or um, you know, babysitting my younger brother. And uh, so when I found out that you could actually make jerky, um, you know, I, uh, I was 16 yeah, yeah. years old, moved out, and, uh, and started making it on my own. And I was, I'm just a perfectionist myself, so um, just uh, started perfecting it and, and making it better and better. And, um, so this has been perfected. This has been perfected, you. yeah. This is about uh, 23 years in the game. So, um, no, yeah. 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 Liter right. Literally about four and a half years now in business, but 23 years in the game, and uh, started it, it was actually, I'd bring over pounds of jerky to my friends' places. So, I mean, all my friends and family, that's what they always got for, for Christmas and for holidays, because they'd always say, hey, just make me some jerky. So, I'd bring them pounds of jerky. Um, you know, funny that's story great, about, yeah. about the... Uh, what they like. Right. Well, f funny story about how we got the name was, my buddy's kid, Jonathan, um, he was my biggest critic. So literally, he's like, you know, three and a half to five years old. And he'd say, Uncle Hans, come over, you know, Uncle Hans, bring me some jerky. Right. So I'd bring him over the pound Sorry, bag. And oh, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. hustler. He, he knows. It was like, yeah. you know, batter the eyes. I'm, I'm cute. I'm going to get it for free. So, so he'd get it. And uh, he'd critique me, though. He's like, Uncle Hans, it's, it's a little too salty, a little too spicy. So I told him, Jojo, if I ever start a jerky company, I'll name it after you. So Aww, literally. So you did. Yeah. Yeah. So that's hence the name Jojo's Jerky. So that's really cool. I'm a man of my word. And, uh, Actually, you know, that's, a, yeah, that's a really great story. Very yeah, heartwarming. I like it. It's true. All right. Well, speaking of heartwarming, Lenny over here loves spicy stuff, right? Yes. <clears throat> Real yes, I do. <laughs> I do. Since we asked him to before the segment. Now, he <laughs> wanted some of this beef jerky, but we told him no, unless you take a swig from your hottest. Mm -hmm. uh, what is hot it? Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Right? Tell me Just about hot this. Sauce. That's our hell on earth. So, on earth. so, so explain what he's getting into. What is um, so our hell on earth hot sauce. It's hickory smoked sea salt, habanero, hatch, tele peppers. <laughs> no, no, don't chuck, don't chuck. He's going to be doing sign language. Go ahead. That's good. Very good. good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it's also got ghost pepper and Trinidad scorpion. Yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. One of the things that stops me from eating beef jerky all the time is the health. It's all the crap you know, that, like that people put into it. It's not necessary. We actually take the extra steps to, we actually make all of our marinades fresh in house. Uh, I, got a, I got a few of my crew here. <laughs> so we, and, and that's what we specialize, flavor. You know, we got, we got hot, hot sauces. We got amazing jerky, but we also have gluten-free yeah. options. We have sugar-free options, all natural ingredients. So there is no BS in it, no nitrates, none of that crap. It's all hand-trimmed, grass-fed, top sirloin. And, uh, and the best, and, and we're creative too. I mean, we got wasabi, horseradish, prime rib. We've got carne asada. We got uh, hell on earth. <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you use a lot of perverted... You know, things oh yeah, to we're, we're mildly offensive is what we like to uh, here, specialize but, in. But and can, actually, they made me change my shirt <laughs> because I, I had a just jerk it shirt on, <laughs> and they're like, "Wait a minute, this might be on TV." So what's well, it? Hold just on, jerk it all over the. Yeah, I thought it might be. Too Not much. all over. It just said it in big <laughs> bold letters I on the to, front. I had to calm him down. He's getting a little crazy. I was getting yeah. Right, you always I've have been to excited. watch. Yeah, I have to watch Hans when it comes around. Yeah. 
All right, so we're kind of running out of time, but I want to make sure we talk about the website. People can go yes. to jojosjerky.com. Jojosjerky.com, uh, easy peasy. Um, enter in the code downtown, and you get 30% off for the first 100 go. users. So right on, right go on. check us out. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Ooh. We're on all the social medias. Right. So, um, and we're a lot of fun. Come come and check out our stores. Right, right at the Container Park. Container right Park. And then we got one in uh, Grand Bazaar Shops on the Strip. And then uh, West Side. Um, <laughs> yeah, Desert Inn and Jones, that's our manufacturing <laughs> spot. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I love the fact that you brought it downtown. Thank you so much for being part yeah. of the community. Give Thank it you. up for Hans Zipper. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but it's really gone. It's not in here. It's not in here. I mean, you could right. pick any card, and it's not in here anymore because that card magically flew through the air, did eight and a half somersaults, and landed in my front pocket. Yeah. Now, you guys have been watching me, like, close. Would this be impressive if it's in my pocket? Yeah. Yeah? OK, look, nothing in my hands, nothing up my sleeve. Actually, you know what, Rose, can you get the card from my pocket? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Just the card, though, Rose. <laughs> Just the card. Go ahead. Go ahead. Out of all these cards, you right can show here. me. Right here? This yep. here? Go ahead. Pull it nice and high. Show it to everybody. That is the card the you signed, the Queen of Hearts. No? Wait, sorry, I forgot one. The Seven of Clubs? No? Ah, oh, wait, wait, the Six of Clubs. Oh, wait, I, sorry, I did it backwards. I think I put all the cards in my pocket, which means Rose over here in my hand, there's one left. <laughs> I think that's the one that says Rose on it. Is that correct? Yes? Yes! Awesome! Now, Whoa! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so that is your signature. We made a mess, but that is okay. Now we're gonna pass it back to Daryl, actually. We were able to guess what your card was. It's we good. were able to find it in a magic way. Now uh -huh. we're gonna take it a step further. Take okay. your finger just like this. The ace of hearts represents someone. Nothing out loud, in your mind. I want you to say that person's name. Scream it at the top of your mind's lungs. Suze. Oh my god, yes! Whoa. And now, Rose, you signed your name on this Ace of Hearts. She picked any card she wanted. And now let's try this Ace of Hearts. Hopefully, we can take your name and we can change it to say Suze. There we go. Get and that's for out you. Of go ahead. Town. You Amazing! This is wild! Hi, Suze! Wow. wow. Cool! So we do stuff like that. That's what we do for a living. <laughs> low key, low key, you guys do stuff like that. Amazing. So you guys are not actually brothers, or you are actually brothers? Mm. Like, do you have to be siblings to have this coordination? We're not brothers, but we are brothers in the urban sense. Ah, yeah. right, keeping mm. it real. Yes. Cool. So what brought you guys together then? <laughs> <laughs> what brought us together? Um, like a secret magic dinner that we have in Las uh, Vegas. We uh, ran into each other. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. At uh, Arizona Charlie's. <laughs> <laughs> there really is. Nobody goes there. That's why it's secret. No, 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 no. So I should just go there every night oh. and try to like, see snoop. magicians. Yeah. Yeah. Just snoop in to the magician scene. Very boring, lots of bacon, lots of eggs. <laughs> I like bacon. Total sausage fest. Yeah. Is, uh, is there jerky? <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> All right, that's fantastic. So can you, guys, can you guys tell me anything else about how you did this trick? We read your mind in magic. Yes. OK. That's how it was done. Standard, <laughs> standard. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I obviously was immensely entertained while you were doing that. What is it about magic that people like so much? I think anybody appreciates skill when they see it. I think you could juggle forks. You could be the best domino player. And I think people will enjoy watching it if you're good at it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think. And okay. then I have like, a, I like the idealized version where when you see something impossible like that, it makes any problems that you have in your life seem like, ah, I felt like that was impossible, but if that can happen, then maybe I can apply for this job and get it, or whatever yeah. it is. Cool. So it's the skill and the optimism kind of keeps you guys in business. That's what we think. Yeah, cool. But you guys do other things, because you do share some of your secrets. We yes. do. You go around telling people about creative ideas, and how to jazz up a performance or talk. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, ma magicians uh, in town and out of town all need help coming up with ideas for magic to do to like, keep it on the cutting edge. Mm -hmm. And we're one of the people who do that. We, we help them come up with ideas and make what they picture happen on stage. Mm. Sometimes we build the props. Uh -huh. We learned how to weld this year, yep. building props. Congrats. Did not know how to do that. So we're not always in suits. Actually, this is probably the first time we've ever been in suits together. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're usually in like welding pants. Those are a thing. Totally. Oh, and yeah. We just like build things and Just talk stay and, safe. Yeah. 
And then yeah. on top of that, we invent magic tricks like this one. You won't see that anywhere else. And we sell them to just magicians. Anybody who wants to learn our secrets. Yeah, there's websites. We so if you are, we don't mind, most magicians won't say this, but there's websites you can go on and buy magic tricks. Mm -hmm. And we don't mind telling you that because if you're willing to go on a website and give them money to send you a magic trick in the mail, like you're good in our book. You're like a magician. Like, <laughs> That's right. Like, so it's we'll tell you our favorite treason. website. Yeah. Yeah. It's so we'll tell you our favorite magic website. Um, they they pay us money, but they are still our favorites either way. That's right. Is uh, vanishinginkmagic.com. It's ink I N C, and they are our favorite, and uh. they do good stuff and beginner stuff. And go on there, just buy a magic trick from them. And if you want to see out. all the magic tricks that we made, uh -huh. you can go to our website, which is other bros like Mario Bros. Bros. Otherbros.com/vi for vanishing ink. That was a shameless oh. pitch shameless section, pitch. guys. Thank you. Just threw it right in. Yeah. Threw it right in. Good. Good. What does it take to make someone magical? Ooh, it takes practice is Ooh. like the biggest thing. Like Lots you, of you reading. Know. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as exciting. It's not like you get some spell or potion or wand. You just got to sit in your room, ignore your significant others, and just read lots of books. <laughs> practice, persistence, and perseverance. All right. All right. All right. Keeping it real. <laughs> Nice. I came up with that one right on the spot. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that was magic in itself. Yeah. yeah it's this all up there. Yeah, yeah. It's all up there. Cool. Well, you guys are magicians. We all know that now. The proof is in the cards. And if, can you just empty your sleeves for us? Right. All right. So nothing up your sleeves. No. But we have a special game for you guys. No. Yes. <laughs> DJ Lenny, can you tell us about it? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play What's Up My Sleeve with Rosé Rosé! That's right, everyone! It is time for What's Up My Sleeve. Nothing, you're sleeveless. We have some models coming out, and we have a game. You guys need to guess what is up my friend sleeps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're all gonna help. Awesome. Let's no have our Darryl. first model come on out. No, Team Daryl. Yeah. yeah. What do we have here? Oh. Oh my gosh. What could be up your sleeves, Anthony? I don't know. Oh, nothing there. Nothing there. The real magician. Just muscle. All right. It's Aquaman. Aquaman? Oh, is that a... All right, Daryl, right. you start. First question. It, it's yes or no questions. Yes or no questions. Is it for water sports? Yes. It is for water sports. <laughs> All right. Is it a live animal? No. No, okay. <laughs> What if I know what it is? You want to guess? Yeah. Okay, you put your guess in. Go is ahead. it flippers? Ah, they're flippers! It's not fair, he's the mind reader! Oh! Team Daryl! Good job, Team Daryl! Excellent job, Anthony, thank you. Let's have our next model come out. You're gonna break up this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going solo. <laughs> All right, we have the beautiful Naomi here. What could possibly be up her sleeves? So, right side, Daryl, you go first. <laughs> Is it a live animal? No. <laughs> hey, you can't fool me, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is tricky. <laughs> Does it bend when you bend your elbow? No. All right, I need help or I'm gonna ask another bad question. Audience, what should I ask? What certain material? I think Daryl needs some help, you guys. Come on, Come help on, me out. audience. Is it made out of wood? Wood? No. Oh, you got Your a buzzer? There other Daryl's turn. Do you need some help from the plastic, audience? Plastic, right? Uh, ask if it's made of plastic. Is it made? Huh? Uh, hey, Team Daryl. Oh, hey. yes, 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 yes. Is the item made of rubber? No. Uh, other Daryl. Is it a paper item with words on it? Uh, there are words on it. What? There's words on it. So it's a no, but kind of. 
the popular question, is it edible? But maybe you could eat something with it. We need a hint. You need a hint? No, you need to keep asking questions. But it's not fair. Everything's edible if you have the willpower. Yeah, uh, Yeah. well, that was a silly question then. Um, uh, is it a plate? Is it a plate? No. No, it's a trick question from the wrong side. Oh, ah, no. Yeah. Oh, no. But it could be on a plate. Is it a utensil? <sighs> what are your questions? Is it salad tongs? <laughs> no. Is it, is it napkin wrapped silverware? Getting close, oh. getting close. All right, what's something? It's getting lower and lower. <laughs> <laughs> what's something kind of scary that you could be in the ocean? Could be in the ocean, but. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you guys have any idea? Is it trash? What if you were a pirate? What was that? Oh. Did he say? Oh, it's bright yellow. Uh -huh. I see it. Don't oh, let no. them see it yet. <laughs> No. What? Who was that in the audience? Somebody said it. Who's team? She's team Daryl. What is it? Is it a sword? Is it a sword? Oh! <laughs> Woo! Well, it's technically a swordfish. <laughs> Why the animal? I would. She would have said yes. That was my first guess, and I call foul play. You, a long way you can keep one of the swords here. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Our beautiful model, Jen, out tonight. Blue Daryl, go ahead. Is it something you murder people with? <laughs> no. No. We're going to go with a no. Daryl? Does it have anything to do with the word murder? <laughs> no. 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 Moving away from the, the violent items. Oh, you gave us swords. Right, right. <laughs> Daryl? Is it a pooper scooper? Similar, similar, close. Is it a ghost? A what? Is it a broom? It's not a broom. Oh, um. It's not, but I suppose you could use it. You could. That wasn't my question. That wasn't my question. That was not my question. Sam spoke out of turn. She's not not my question. Daryl, go for it. Is it a shovel? It is not a shovel, but it it, it scoops. It can contain something. It does scoop. Uh, it can like a rake. A rake. A rake. A Oh. Your is turn, Daryl. Is, is it a bug net? <gasps> what type of bug? <gasps> Butterfly. Such big sleeves you have. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's what she said. Oh, it's oh, a butterfly. butterfly. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Jen. Great job, you guys. That was fun. That was Great awesome. job, audience. Thank you, Tim Darrell. Amazing. Amazing work, you guys. Well, thank you for being on the show and participating in the game. One of you guys want to try on the butterfly? I'm the winner, so there you go. Thank you. That was the other brothers, everyone. Stay tuned. We have Fishbowl coming up next. Yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Awesome. You guys are great. That was so great. I'm giving this to my boss. There you go. <laughs> that, that was awesome. awesome. <laughs>we love you and this is for all, for all of you fishball loves you Different color, the lights go falling in your eyes. 
indulge yourself in a world of wonder Where love elevates your sense You can be what you want You can be who you wish to be Sonic rays that shines above you Feel the love elevate your senses Gentlemen, that's our show. I'd like to thank all of our guests this evening. Thank you to our cast and crew, to all you podcasts at home. Remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night, 9 p.m., right here at the Inspire Theater. Party with us on the rooftop for the after party. Check me out for the after after party at the downtown cocktail room. Thank you. Salamat, salamat, peace, love, and be kind to one another.